हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ आर डी महाजन प्रेजेंटिंग माई वीडियो ऑन गॉस एमिनेशन मेथड लेट इज सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल सॉल्व बाय गॉस एमिनेशन मेथड इक्वेशन आर टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस जेड इक्वल्स टू नाइन वी कॉल दैट एज इक्वेशन वन एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इक्वल टू सिक्स वी कॉल दिस एज इक्वेशन टू 3x एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस टू जेड इक्वल्स टू एट इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड हियर वी हैव टू ऑप्टेन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस लीनियर साइमिटिस इक्वेशन बाय गॉस सोल्यूशन मेथड फॉर क्लियर एंड बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो अप टू एंड इन फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ इलेमिनेशन Uh, we have to eliminate. We have to eliminate x from x three. Using our uh, first equation, therefore, to eliminate. to eliminate x from equation 2 we have to multiply first equation by the ratio a21 divided by a11 and then subtracting it from equation second by performing Uh, that we write as equation two minus multiplying factor is one by two, which we have to multiply to equation one, and after multiplication we have to subtract it from equation two. We get therefore as we have to subtract it from two, the first element must be from that equation two only, and therefore it is one minus. Two multiplied by multiplying factor one by two into x. X is common. Then for second y, it is two minus three multiplied by one by two into y plus for z, it is three z means three minus one multiplied by one by two into z. And that is equals to uh, for right hand side term it is six minus nine into one by two. And simplifying it, we get two to get cancel one minus one we get zero. Means x is eliminated. Uh, two to the four four minus three we get one by two into y. Uh, this is three to the six. Six minus one, we get five by two z, and that is equals to six to the twelve. Twelve minus nine, we get three divided by two, and then multiplying throughout by two, we get that is that equation is y. Plus five hundred is equals to three, and we call this as new equation number fourth at the place of equation two. Here I have eliminated that x by performing this step. Then uh, to eliminate this x from equation number three, with the help of equation one, we have to multiply that equation one by multiplying factor three by two. And then subtracting it from equation three by performing equation three minus that multiplying factor three by two into equation one, and therefore, as we are subtracting it from three, 
the first element must be from the third equation therefore it is 3 minus 2 multiplied by 3 by 2 into x then for y it is 1 coefficient is 1 here minus 3 multiplied by 3 by 2 into y plus for z it is 2 minus 1 multiplied by 3 by 2 into z and that is equals to for right hand side term it is 8 minus 9 multiplied by 3 by 2 and simplifying it we get 2 to get cancelled 3 minus 3 we get 0 0 x uh, 1 to the 2 2 minus 9 it is minus 7 by 2 y 2 to the 4 4 minus 3 we get 1 by 2 into z and that is equals to 7 by 2 and multiplying it by minus 1 by 2 throughout that is we get the equation as 7y minus z is equals to minus 11 and we call this a new equation at the place of third equation that is a fifth equation. Uh, at the end of first stage of elimination, the new system of equation is a uh, first equation no change. Therefore, 2x plus 3y plus z equals to 9. That remains as it is. Uh, instead of equation 2, we have fourth equation as y plus 5z is equals to 3. And at the place of equation 3, we have 7y minus z is equals to 11. And then uh, in second stage of elimination, we have to eliminate this y from equation 5 with the help of equation 4 by performing the four to eliminate y from equation 5th by performing this step. Uh, it is equation number fifth minus multiplying factor is here 7 by 1 that is 7 into equation 4 means equation 4 we have to multiply by 7 by 1 that is 7 and then subtract it from equation 5 we get Therefore, no change in the first and fourth equation. Uh, changes are in uh, fifth equation only. Therefore, 7 minus 1 multiplied by 7 by 1 into y plus here the coefficient of z is minus 1 minus 5 multiplied by 7 by 1 into z and that is equals to uh, right hand side term is 11 minus 3 multiplied by 7 by 1 and if you simplify it we get uh, 7 minus 7 get cancelled it is 0 y minus 1 minus 7 5 are 35 minus 35 minus 1 we get minus 36 z and that is equals to 11 minus 21. Therefore, 11 minus 21, we get minus 10. Multiplying by a minus sign, we get 36z is equals to 10 as equation number 6, a new equation at the place of equation. 
therefore at the end of second stage of elimination uh, new system of equation is uh, first equation as it is no change equation fourth also as it is no change uh, changes are in that uh, fifth equation 36z is equals to 10 equation number 6 uh, if you observe here the lower diagonal element that is 0x plus y plus 5z equals to 3 uh, 0x plus 0y plus 36z is equals to 10 as lower diagonal elements are 0 whatever this new system we have it is called as upper triangular system of equation And after getting that upper triangular system, uh, first part is over. In second part, we have to use the back substitution procedure to find out the values of x, y, z. Therefore, using back substitution procedure. Uh, from last equation we get z is equals to 10 by 36 and if you divide by 2 we get 5 by 18 then uh, using this in equation fourth using it in equation fourth we get value of y as it is 3 minus 5z, uh, substitute value of z as 5 by 18, we get 3 minus 5 times z, 5 by 18. Therefore, it is 3 minus 5, 5 is 25 by 18. Substituting these values of z and x, z and y in equation 1, put it in 1, we get the value of x as, therefore we get 2x is equal to 9 minus 3y and minus z and that is equal to. Substituting the value of y and z here, we get 9 minus 3 into y. The value of y is 29 by 18 and minus z, z is 5 by 18. Uh, LCM is here 18. Uh, 9 into 18. minus 3 into 29 and minus 5 uh, if you perform this by calci we get we get 70 by 18 and then uh, dividing by 2 throughout we get x is equal to therefore it implies x is equal to uh, 70 by 2, we get 35 by 18. And therefore, the required solution is, therefore, the solution is x is equal to 35 by 18, y is equal to 29 by 18, and z is equal to 5 by 18. Obtain solution is correct or not, uh, we can check it as I have explained in my previous video. By substituting this in all these equations, if all the equations are satisfied, we can say that uh, optimum solution is the correct one. I will perform for 
one equation and then for remaining two you have to perform yourself the first equation is 2 into x plus 3 into y plus z is equals to 9 uh, we substitute the values 2 into x 35 by 18 plus 3 into y y is 29 by 18 and z 5 by 18 is equals to 9 and then simplifying it 35 by 9 if you divide by 2 29 by 6 and 5 by 18 is equals to 9 uh, LCM of this 3 is 18 9 to the 18 therefore 35 into 2 we get 70 plus 6 3 is the 18 therefore 29 into 3 3 into 29 and plus 5 9 therefore it is 70 plus 29 into 3 it is 87 plus 5 by 18 uh, it is 75 plus 87 by 18 uh, 5 plus 7 12 and 162 divided by 18 9 means first equation is satisfied similarly you can check for the remaining two equation 2 and equation 3 and if all equations are satisfied uh, we can say that obtained solution is a correct one Therefore, in my next video, I will discuss another method to find the solution of a linear Simmetrics equation that is Gauss-Seidel method. Therefore, if you like my video, please share it as well as subscribe to my channel to get a notification for my new videos. Thank you.